Hey everybody, me with my boy Paris. Hola. Speaking of uh, that girl I showed you, hit me up on like Snapchat. Mm -hmm. 28 years old, mother of two. Okay. Uh, <laughs> I'm 50 fucking four, dude. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so I'm texting text back and forth. Uh huh. I've only talked to her on the phone once. And uh, never met her. It always seems like she's too busy. Mm -hmm. uh, and every now and then she'll hit up saying she wants something. It's before sugar daddy. <laughs> <laughs> A friend without benefits. Yeah. Uh, I'm starting to surmise that too. <laughs> If I'm wrong, I'm sorry. But I'm 54. I wasn't born yesterday. I just thought it was funny. I mean, I can never, I can never seem to make plans. And I'm just kind of. got a man. Yeah, because I'm, I'm, uh, I'm uh, playing along. Playing along. Okay. So, it kind of gives me something to do. So, I hate that that thing is moving so much. Oh man, riding along. What's she, what she texting? What she, what she said she want? Oh, I'll show a flat iron curler. A chi flat iron. That's, that's you know, them fucking things are expensive. Uh, 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 they're like 50, 60 bucks. Oh, I know. My wife got one. And, and at first, I thought she was telling me she wanted a flat iron to cook with. And then when I was on the phone with her, she was telling me how she was dating a guy who promised her to get her one, and he never did. Because he probably figured out her ass was fucking cold, did he? Yeah. And she goes, I can do things on my own and all this stuff. You know, which is fine. Uh, I'm asking her why she didn't buy a fucking cheap for herself. Yeah. She says she's in class and has a job, which... I'm happy to hear that about anybody. Uh, but yeah. I'm not mean, talking to her at night after you take your medicine. No. We know how you are when you fucking <laughs> take your damn meds. And your <laughs> oh. Buying drumsticks. Like that. Where's it at? Drumstick. I got four of them. And all I do is tap on my... I bought like four or five bucks, however much it was. Oh my gosh. Now I'm having an eating at night problem after I take my meds. I wake up in the morning and I see a bowl that had peanut butter and syrup in it. Right next to there is a uh, bowl of uh, <laughs> vegan mac and cheese. Right next to there is a half a box of wheat tats. <laughs> and then next to there is an empty bowl of uh, frozen veggies. <laughs> I tell myself I'm not going to do it tonight, and I do it every freaking time. So, so now I started walking a lot because I, I really don't want to. But, you know, it's really cool to see your, your father-in-law. I remember I, I'm sorry, I couldn't remember. Oh, yeah. That's him. Um, yeah, what's her, 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 she says her name is Felicia. You know, and I'll, I'll text her something. You know, just to get a reaction. Mm -hmm. So every time we, I, I Don't told her. around and get catfished. Yeah, I told her, look. Uh, dinner at lunch is on me. I just want to see if you're real. <laughs> I'll be able to tell you in two, less than two minutes if you're full of shit or not. You know? Because <laughs> I don't see no 28-year-old interested in a 54-year-old. Well, no, 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 that's not nothing that's uncommon. I've seen plenty of it. I don't Hell, see it. My wife's 14 years younger than me. I married a girl 15 years ago. 15 years. Oh, 
that turned out to be shit. <laughs> God, and I was relatively young then. I was, I was 40, 43, 40, yeah, somewhere around. Oh, don't let me forget. You said something about the VA. I have the White House number to the VA, mm -hmm. and you can call them with any question. So skip calling this VA. Skip calling Waco. Call this 800 number. Mm -hmm. it's, in, it's in my van. It's in here somewhere. I'll screenshot it and send it to you. Surprise you ain't drinking no coffee this morning. Already did. Already drank it. When I started to leave to come here, that's when I got on 99 and I looked down at my gas, said, oh shit. And I'm like, now I gotta drive slow. I don't like to drive slow. She text, uh, well, no, it probably needs to be there. Wish I didn't have to pull over gas. We'd have to have time to get her a tea or something. Yeah, yeah, it's full oh, well, Texas says she wants a tea. I'll, you, I'll, I'll get her a, I'll get her a tea. I adore that woman. She's wants a tea. She get the tea. Well, there's the tea. Tea, 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 Boy, you know, district champions again, by the way. T Mac. Hey, uh, Ronnie wanted to know if you wanted a tea. She said, sure do. Sweet or unsweet? Sweet or unsweet? Sweet. <laughs> just like I like my women. Sweet. He said, just like he likes his women. Sweet. About a month ago, I was on TikTok, just doing my sing-alongs and whatnot. I put a collage of all my pictures, made uh -huh. a little film out of it, you know, uh, with a little caption, Yo Ma, uh, a little of uh, my wide addicted sister, you know, just a little bitty funny little caption. And that picture I took of me and you in the back, you know, I said, this is my boy Paris. Uh-huh. Three days later, some motherfucker gets on there and calls me the most racist, vile motherfucker. He ain't your boy. He ain't your boy. My, my, my boy's a bit of So <laughs> I took down the video and turned off my fucking TikTok. <laughs> oh, you gotta be fucked. I did not know. I mean, I hear it every day when I'm around. But, yep, that's what? my boy. You know, that's my boy. That's my boy. I see it all the time. Yeah. Who is that? That's a problem. My, like, my, my father-in-law would just ask me, so he goes, he goes, who's that out there? I said, that's my boy Ronnie. Yeah. I said, shit, yeah, we the yin I said, we the yin yang yeah. twins. Yeah. So, I hate people that do. I hate bicycles. Why are you on West Lily York? Dude, you need somebody behind you in a car with blinking lights. That's what you need. That is dang. I don't care. You want to ride a bike? Ride a bike. Ride an old 99 and Highway 6. All you want to. That guy ain't safe. That motherfucker going to get hit. It's going to be the driver's fault. You yep. watch. Damn. Yep. Yeah. That's so funny. It was uh, from a, uh, what I call a liberal white apologist. So anyway, I took it down, so I just thought, I can go this way, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, shit, there's, everybody ain't seen in 30 years old. 30 years, in 30 years. That's my boy! I'll tell you another funny thing that happened. No, that ain't it. Another funny thing that happened. Um, on the anniversary of my heart attack, guy I went to. I yeah, you called me and told me about that. Man, I still, man. I was all set to make fun of myself that, you know, the other day. Yep, man. I still ain't figured out why you're making fun of yourself. 
I know. I, I try to find the humor and everything. But, uh, yeah, I couldn't believe it. This guy was Clark Kent. Handsome. Athletic. Always, always doing great, you know, athletical stuff. And working out. Uh, I assume he was CrossFit. Uh, he goes to the gym and then gets in his truck. Bam. Hard tech. You know, you got those guys that you're surprised that lived to 50? Yeah. <laughs> this guy, we just knew he'd live to his hundreds easy. He took that good care of himself. I couldn't believe it. Wow. So how are things with you and the, the missus? <laughs> oh, Antifa. Oh, there it is, Canes. Drive through open. You bet you're right. You want a Arnold Palmer? Uh, yeah. I know works. you want an Arnold Palmer. Yeah. Works, Two works. large sweet teas. And a large Arnie. Arnold Palmer. Somewhere I got my wallet. I'm surprised I ain't sent you that number already. It just now dawned on me. Um, somebody gave it to me. Oh, a guy at the VA. Really? Is that the VA shooting a ship? I got a call line so I can do my, uh, I have an intent to file. Yeah. Uh, on, online. Yeah. File it. Wait about a month. Call that number. Let it get time to get assist. Mm -hmm. And then call that number with questions. My understanding is uh, they get to you. Yeah, remember BM2 Minkler? Yeah. They lost his medical records. Ma'am, may I please have two large sweet teas and a large Arnold Palmer? Yeah, can I, uh, can I get some fries? Yep. Yeah, that'll do. I haven't eaten anything yet. I, I don't want to be hurting a little bit. But anyway, I got a hold of him. I found him. Oh, well, we found each other about two, three months ago. Mm -hmm. So he was telling me, you know, about his situation with VA. And he's been fighting for 10 years. And they legitimately lost his medical record. Somebody. Yes. And I, I didn't believe it. I'm like, there's no way they've lost, you know, uh, sort of, the, you know what I mean. So I went on a mad hunt. Started calling people. Started asking questions people that might know. And, uh, you know, he, he told me, you know, thank you. You know, I, you know, him chain smoking so much, you know, he's on an oxygen bottle. Oh, there goes. <laughs> <laughs> so he retired. He did his 20 something years. So he's got that, but they can't. How do you do? Yes, and a small fries. Yep, and a fry. Thank you, dear. Have a great day. Um, all right, I mean, that's you. Where? Right here. Uh, that's me. Okay. Oh, that's good. Okay. Uh, we need a straw. Service? Yeah, I did. So when I was at the VA, no, I wasn't at the fucking VA. I was uh, doing a drug test. I have to do them every now and then. Mm -hmm. And the guy doing it, you know, was a veteran because he, he saw my uh, found it, my boss met anchors, and you know we started talking. And uh, so brought up Minkler. And he goes, "Hey man, here's the number." Um, here, you know, and so I called Brian and gave him that number and he said, you know, I appreciate it. Anyway, he calls them and they were able to recite every freaking inquiry about his medical records on there. Really? Yeah. And uh, I'm like, I've never known 
I just said, hey, man, what'd you do, man? Piss off a corner and threw the shit away? I mean, he can't even get a copy of them. They do not exist. That blew my mind. I and, mean, you know, he called them. And so he's resigned to getting an attorney. I mean, you can't have a full service jacket no. and not a medical record. <laughs> You know, 20 years of a service jacket. That's crazy. And, uh, because that just doesn't make sense to me. Oh. Uh oh. I'm a new daddy. You know what? We'll call him later on the way to do so. I thought about busting mama a little bit. Doing the uh, Paris's, uh, you like him best? Mom don't like the, I don't know. She's got to catch her in a funny mood sometimes. She don't like what? She don't like to play jokes. <laughs> she really doesn't. Oh, man. Shitty wings. I know what I've been wanting. I forgot to ask you. What the fuck does initials B of N D stand for? Did you go to Cypher High School? No. Did you graduate Cypher High School? No. Can't tell you. You fuck, I will want to tell you, Bobcat fight never dies. <laughs> State. Oh, no, no, no. I've been yet, trying yet. to figure out what the fuck that meant for the long District champions. I swear to God, if they make it to State, I'm going to be a happy camper. It's like, what the fuck do you have Oh, shitty wings. They are, man. Yeah, but... They, they, they're so bad, they're good, man. At least you're close to the bathroom when you're done. That's all I got to say. <laughs> when, they, when I first opened up, man, they were real good. That's usually where a bunch of uh, guys I went to school with and their wives meet up. We call it Big Ass Beer Night. Ah. And uh, we haven't been able to go with all this COVID shit. I'm starting to believe it ain't this bullshit, this whole thing. I don't know, man. My, uh, my dad's youngest, my dad's baby sister. Well, not baby sister, but... Yeah, I get it. She's in hospital right now in critical condition. Here's why I think that it's not a serious... I, I, it's a novel virus. But you got one set of people jumping up, you know, partying like it's 1999. And you got another group of people who's partying like they're 99, 99 and, and they're the super spreaders. So, and when they say like Houston was uh, had a huge uptick. Yeah, they just said it there's doubles since the 1st of November. There's two things they're not telling you. One is more people are being tested. And two is the death rate is down. All they're saying is, oh my God. That's all they're doing. So when they, when they said that uptick, I went to Tom Ball emergency room. Mm -hmm. Nobody in there. Not a motherfucker in there. So, there's a vaccine. Yep, there's another thing. There's three vaccines that are probably that are gonna help you. Six months ago, a group of people said we can't move until we get a vaccine. Now that vaccine's here, they're trying to kill you. So, oh shit, it's here, right? Yeah, yeah. that's the light. Oh, I see it. Turn it here, right? Yep. Yeah. yeah, okay. I should know better. This is my old neighborhood. I don't know, man. To see what John, Uncle John's up to. Let's call him later. Every now and then I hear from Mookie. Check on him every now and then to see how that boy is doing. I know his mom beat cancer. Well, that's cool. Yep, she's in remission. I have no idea. No fucking clue. Well, he did keep that to himself, so I guess I wouldn't have known anyway. If he did tell me, I done forgot. I, mean, I think he told you. Yeah. Oh, I was, uh... Oh, man. Shit, um... New, new friend. Uh, she killed the 
What? Who? Who can sign new nigga? Oh yeah, I remember hearing about that. Yeah, his friend killed himself. Yeah, I remember that. That was that weekend y'all were out camp? Mm-hmm. I'm talking to my son dude. How's he doing? Good. Working. He's junior, right? Mm-hmm. I don't know. He's working um, at uh, tennis warehouse. Like, like, oh, memorabilia. Oh. Tennis Express is what it's called. Oh, it's been a fucking fire. It's kind of funny. I'll go from this and then I'll go to Slipknot. <laughs> Commodores, and next thing you know, I'm jamming to Pantera. Go ahead, dude. Come on, come on, come on. Don't even look at me about being nice. Oh my gosh, just be nice, be humble. Only time what I keep saying something about a, a, a homeless person kicked out of McDonald's. Fuck yeah, this dude. All right, I'm not. I don't want to bring race into this. Black dude brings in a white homeless guy. They kick him out. Call the police. I did the same thing in Tomball. Not one motherfucking, nobody batted a fucking eye. Almost blackish guy, I guess. I don't know. All right, I just asked him, are you hungry? Come join me for lunch. Not a... That's not something no, not normal for you, though, because you, you always... Yeah. Don't get that what color they are. I don't give a fuck. I saw a man that looked starving. Hang on, hang on. Pop your head in there and say bye. Bye. Rock on. <laughs>